The first species that we're going to investigate is the chloride ion. I'm going to add my silver nitrate solution to the test tube on the left, which already contains a solution of sodium chloride. Therefore, it already has chloride ion in it. You will notice upon shaking that the solution becomes cloudy. This cloudiness is the result of the formation of tiny crystals of silver chloride. This cloudiness is what we will look for in a positive test for chloride ion. Next, I'm going to test the contents of the tube on the right for the presence of starch by adding a few drops of iodine solution. Take note of the color of the iodine solution before and after it makes contact with the starch solution at the bottom of the test tube. You can clearly see that a remarkable color change occurs. The brown iodine solution takes on an intense blue-black color, indicating the presence of starch. Finally, I'm going to test for glucose by adding Benedict's solution to the test tube in the middle. Now this test works a bit differently from the two we've just seen. Merely combining Benedict's solution with glucose results in no visual change. However, Heating the mixture for about 5 minutes in boiling water should cause a change to occur. After 5 minutes of heating, a change has occurred. What was once a blue solution has taken on a red color.